Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is morning prayer for Thursday, March 28th. It's the third week in Lent and week five in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 83, and Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 11 through 24. Now please join me in singing the third verse of part two of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. When on my head two sorrows fell, I sought your heavenly aid. You saved my sinking soul from hell. And death's eternal shade. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Keep not your silence, O God. Hold not your peace, and be not still. Psalm 83, and please recite it with me. Keep not your silence, O God, hold not your peace, and be not still. For your enemies make a loud noise, and they that hate you have lifted their heads. They have plotted against your people, and consulted against your protected ones. They have said, Come, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be remembered no more. For they have consulted together with one accord. They are banned together against you. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarenes. Gabal and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. Asher also is joined with them. They have helped the children of Lot. Do unto them as the Midianites, as to Sisera, as to Jabin, at the river of Kison. They perished at Endor and they became dumb for the earth. Make their nobles like Oreb and like Zeb, yes, all their leaders as Zeba and Zalmuna, who said, Let us take for ourselves the houses of God. O oh my God, make them the whirling dust, as the stubble before the wind, as the fire burns a forest, and as the flame sets the mountains on fire. So persecute them with your tempest, make them afraid with your storm, fill their faces with shame, that they may seek your name, O God. Let them be confounded and troubled forever, yes, let them be put to shame and perish, that they may know that you, whose name is Yahweh, are the Most High over all the earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Keep not your silence, O God, hold not your peace, and be not still. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 10, beginning at verse 11. Thus shall you say to them, the gods who did not make the heavens, and the earth shall perish from the earth and from under the heavens. It is he who made the earth by his power, who established the world by his wisdom and by his understanding stretched out the heavens. When he utters his voice, there is a tumult of waters in the heavens, and he makes the mist rise from the ends of the earth. He makes lightnings for rain, and he brings out the wind from its storehouses. Everyone is stupid and without knowledge. Goldsmiths are all put to shame by their idols, for their images are false, and there is no breath in them. They are worthless, a work of delusion. At the time of their punishment they shall perish. Not like these is Yahweh, the portion of Jacob, for he is the one who formed all things. And Israel is the tribe of his inheritance. Yahweh of hosts is his name. Gather up your bundle from the ground, O you who live under siege. For thus says Yahweh, 
I'm going to sling out the inhabitants of the land at this time. I will bring distress on them so that they shall feel it. Woe is me because of my hurt. My wound is severe. But I said, truly, this is my punishment, and I must bear it. My tent is destroyed, and all my cords are broken. My children have gone from me, and they are no more. There is no one to spread my tent again, and to set up my curtains. For the shepherds are stupid, and do not inquire of Yahweh. Therefore they have not prospered, and all their flock is scattered. Hear, a noise, listen, it is coming. A great commotion from the land of the north, to make the cities of Judah a desolation, a lair of Jake jackals. I know, O Yahweh, that the way of human beings is not in their control, that mortals as they walk cannot direct their steps. Correct me, O Most High, but in just measure, not in your anger, or you will bring me to nothing. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, deliver us from our enemies and gather all peoples and nations to yourself that we may know you and be one. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And may Almighty God shine his face upon us, be merciful to us and bless us, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen.